Hello friends uh, and students. This one is about another cool match is a puzzle is called checker jumping puzzle. So what is checker jumping puzzle? Everybody plays this game and I would like to show uh, how it works. So what I did is a uh, two columns again, number of checkers is the first column and, and the number of steps needed to move. Now, so here it is. So I'm, I'm going to use one checker. So, the, so what, what, what game is this is about the checker game is all you do is if there is a blue and the red on either side of a single checker, then you can move only once, you cannot move twice, you cannot go back, and you cannot keep on top of another one. Watch this. So, so, so then the number of checkers are just one. So how many minimum moves are needed uh, to, in order to get that the red one has to be on the blue uh, over here, the left side, and the blue has to be moved to the right side. So having a single single checker, and, and the goal is how does this uh, number of moves needed in each case, like one, two, four, is, what is that connection to uh, creating a quadratic function? Okay. So if there is one checker, all you do is move this one step, then you, you can jump over another one, like this, two steps, and three. So within three steps, we are done. So that means, so this is, takes three steps. I will show one more and then I will put a link so that you can try yourself. So if there are three, if there are two checkers, so now, so you have two checkers. So watch this, how many steps do we need? Let me go back and reset it up. Okay. So one step, two steps, three step, then I can move this four step. I think that I made a slide, let me reset again. Uh, okay. Change it to okay. So move one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're done. Okay. So, so if you if having two checkers on either side uh, takes minimum steps is eight. Now, I wanted to do for three in the link. Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. And you can check that for the minimum required for three checkers on either side. That will that will be give you 15. And I'm going to write this number. You can play with it, check it out. And the next one you can see it will be 24. Okay. And the next one will be and and, and you will see there's a pattern here. Each time from this step to this step you add plus 5 because 3 plus 5 is 8. The next number you are adding is 5 you will use is 7. 7. Then the next one you use uh, from this step to this step you is plus 9. That gives you 24. And the next step you use, you can see the odd numbers here 5, 7, 9 and the, the next odd number is is 11, so 11 plus this will be 35, okay, then you can add another one and so on. So you can see the, uh, the pattern. So the goal is, what is this numbers connected to function? How can we create a function out of, out of this? Uh, what is that uh, explicit formula? So the question is, can we create, can we create explicit formula for this. Sn. So we need to know Sn equals something in expression in N. Uh, so, how
How did we get? So let's call this is starts with 3, then 8, then 5, 24. You can see that at, at any moment, if n is 1, if n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, n is 4. So number of checkers. But our goal is, uh, let's imagine if this is n equals 5, okay? How did we get this 35? So if n is 5, this is s of 5, okay? So this is s of 4, means the minimum steps needed uh, to complete the 4 checkers. This number is s of 3, so s of 3 is 15. S of 4 is 24, S of 5 is 35, this is, S of 2 is 8, this is, S of 1 is 3, look at this, look at this pattern, so we have 3, 8, 5, 15, 24, 35, the question is how do we get S of n now? Question is what is S? So, is there anything to do with this numbers three? Uh, sorry, five, seven, nine. How did we get eight? We just added three plus five. How did we get fifteen? You added three, five, seven. How did we get twenty-four? Three, five, seven, nine. How did we get thirty-five? So three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So what this means is you're adding, let's say 35, this 35 is, it's because 24 plus 11, but 24 is 15 plus 9, 15 is 8 plus 7, then, and then so on. So it begins with these three, so it is 3 plus 5 plus 15, eight, sorry, 8, and then it is plus 15, plus uh, th sorry, 3 plus 5, not, not the 8, I'm sorry. So you're adding 3, 5, 7, and 9, and so on. See? So this is what you're adding to get S5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then what about, that means if there are N, SN checkers, it will be 3 plus 5 plus uh, 9 plus 11, plus 13 and so on. Question is, this becomes the sum of all numbers beginning from 3 plus 5. I can call this as like a first term, A1, this is like A2, and this is A3, A4, and A5, and question is, can we find A n, n term? So there is a sequence here which is 3, 5, 9, 11, 13, which is an arithmetic sequence, you can see this is the arithmetic sequence where you are adding plus 2 each time, you are adding plus 2 beginning from 3, so we can find the end term, so the end term for this arithmetic sequence is, so let me write here, A end is, how do we find the explicit formula for the arithmetic sequence is, a1, the very first one, plus well, how much is the common difference? B n minus 1. And that means it is 3 plus the, the, the difference is always 2, n minus 1. And using the distributive, so this whole thing turns out to be 3 plus 2n minus 1, which is 2n plus 1. So that's the 2n plus 1 which is important. So we are adding 3 plus 5 plus 9 and then this end term that is this is the a n. That means I can write this s n equals 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus that means you are combining this. It is like a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus n plus and so on n term. You can use the summation sign so that becomes summation of instead of n from 1 to n, so, so I use different letter k as 1 to n, and the n term is 2n plus 1. So instead of n, I'm, I'll place it k. So what does k stand for is, k is 1, 2, 3, and 4, 4, and until n. 
Okay, so so the number of moves needed for n checkers on either side, I'm trying to build, create a summation there, sum of this to k plus one. So k is one, it is it is three. See, if k is two, it is it is uh, k is one becomes three. If it is two, become five. So three and five goes to eight. So basically, we are adding three and five there. Once you get this, then can we figure out what is this? So this is same as, this is a summation of k equals one to n, two k, you can distribute the summation sign, plus summation of one, k equals one to n. Okay, so now, what does this? This is the, this is a constant, there's an effect, so I bring this constant two on the right. And then what is the sum of the first n terms? k equals one to n. So if it is this, this becomes k equals, the two stays the same. But the sum of n terms is n into n plus one divided by two. And the summation of one, 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 which you are adding n times, so that will be n. So what does this mean is you are, you are adding once n of them, so it becomes n there, so this two crosses hard, use distributive property, get n squared plus n, plus n, and just add this two, and you get a beautiful quadratic equation, 2n, so the formula is, so this thing sn, for any number of terms, sn is, is n squared plus 2n, for n greater than or equal to 1. Oh, that's the beautiful uh, quadratic function. So we get a quadratic function. Quadratic function. So the goal was to make this video to show that this puzzle, that uh, jumping checkers, what's that's connected? Because uh, jumping, the number of moves you need to move around the red and the blue. These are the numbers which are important, sequence, 3, 8, 15. This number, how are they uh, connected? Uh, and you can see, it's just adding those odd numbers and I created this uh, function. And if you want to see, the, how does it work on the, using the, on the graph, where, So the maximum I use is 35, so it's, it's at 40. Mm -hmm. So if it is one, it is three. So when it is one, it is three. Two is eight. Eight will be closer to 10, somewhere in here. Three is 15. 15 will be halfway down. And four is 24. 24 is just below. Uh, 25 and if it is 5 I will have it 35 so there it is. Oh, now what is this related to now, now this is a discrete function quadratic function uh, the domain is n equals 1 2 3 but then if you want to use this function as f of x equals f of x equals x squared plus 2x for all the real numbers, for everything, then how does the graph look like? So this is only for, and this dots, they, they just go on like this. Thing. So, but the question is, if I use x for everything, what are, what is this n squared plus 2n? Remember, this is a quadratic uh, in the standard form. So that's in the standard form of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c at the c there's no number at zero. So that means if you want to graph the if you want to graph the quadratic function it goes through this and we can also write this as x into x plus two so the zeros are when is this going to be equal to zero? So that means when x is zero so when is the quadratic function goes to equal zero, one is x has to be zero, 
or x is the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2 because minus 2 and plus 2 is 0. So these are the two numbers that means on the graph this is one point and another point and how does the graph show this? There's a beautiful quadratic Okay. We'll go this way. So there is that uh, quadratic uh, graph which is a parabola. This is it. Now if you want to know exactly what is what is that, we can easily uh, plug in minus one over here and get minus one into minus one plus two minus 1 and this will be 1 and that gives you minus 1. That means the point is minus 1, A is minus 1. So this is not a perfect graph, just wanted to show the word x there, the minimum and it is concave up. So you can see it's the parabola is concave up or we also call it upward parabola. But the main thing is to make this video is not about the graph part but how the Checkers jumping puzzle is connected to those minimum number of steps, and those minimum number of steps is can be modeled into a quadratic function there, n squared plus 2n. I hope this video helps. Just start again. This is cool maths, uh, just to relate the puzzles that we play. What is the connection between those puzzles that we play and the quadratic function? So the last time video I made was exponential function. Uh, it was about Tower of Hanoi. And this one is about jumping checkers. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hope uh, you like the video that I made like this, which is so cool to know what the heck maths got to do with these puzzles. Thank you so much.